mixed Cali fish keeper. <laughs> I know I'm sweating a little bit, but you'll understand why it is right now in a, in a few seconds. I'm doing a real quick video uh, because I'm pretty excited actually. Um, I just got off of work maybe about an hour ago and on my way home, I got a call from, um, you know, from another person that was keeping fish here in Yuma and asked me if I was interested in getting some fish from him because he's breaking down his tanks. So I told him, yeah, that I was interested, but I really didn't know what I was gonna, uh, what, what kind of a surprise I was in for. So let me uh, show you real quick what it is that I was able to get from him. And, uh, and uh, I just wanted to share that with you guys. So let me turn you guys around. Oh yeah, by the way, this is why I'm sweating. My garage indoors is 99 degrees right now, 30% humidity. Um, so that's a little bit of uh, why I'm sweating not inside my garage uh, inside my fish room but anyways here's what i what, here's what happened i thought i was going to go pick up some cardinal tetras and uh some uh amber tetras and some angel fish but as you can see once i got there um israel gave me a bunch of plants so i have some stem plants there's some uh anubias in here all that anubias that's in there uh, he also gave me a bunch of um, like food, medication, supplies that I could use in the fish room. He gave me not only one bin of stone, but another one. And it's all dragon and silver stone. This stuff is not cheap at all. And, um, and he let me have it because he's getting out of the hobby, unfortunately. Um, his work, the type of work that he does, he's got to spend a lot of time outside of his house. So it doesn't allow him uh, to really tend to his tanks. So, you know, that's why he decided that he was going to um, go ahead and get out. And instead of, you know, his fish um, suffering because he's not around to do what he needs to do for them. He decided that he was going to, he was going to part with his stuff. So he gave me those two bins and some really cool uh, pieces of manzanita wood uh, that he had in his tanks. So I got that too. And that was pretty much it. Once I get these fish in the tanks, I'll, I'll go ahead and show them to you. I don't know if you can make out a little bit of what's swimming around in and about right now. But um, once I get the plants out of here and, and get them in quarantine, I'll go ahead and show you the fish that I was able to get from them. You see, I have some uh, empty 10 gallon tanks. These are just plant grow outs. And I, I have a few more down here. That one's growing out some moss and that one's just an empty 10 gallon tank. One of the things that um, I wanted to mention is why it's important that if you have more than one tank, I highly recommend that you, if you can get your hands on any extra filter media to keep them in a tank that's cycled because what's going to happen like in this situation where I have all these fish in here that I can't put into my tank just yet uh, I'm going to be able to take these guys put them in a in a 10 gallon tank for quarantining for a couple of weeks and then decide where I'm going to place them within the fish room uh, I still have this one that's empty I do have a 29 gallon and I have a 55 that's back there that I could also set up. Um, but I just kind of wanted to share that with you. What I'm, all I'm really doing is I'm gonna take the sponge from here. That's already cycled. It's ready to go. And all I need to do is put it in here, add some water, some air, and voila, I have an instantly cycled aquarium. If I wanted to take this a step further, I would take another uh, one of the sponge filters that's already running. Uh, this one's not that dirty because it's, it was just sitting in there. Um, and squeeze it in here and use the moam from that sponge to help you um, to help you propagate that uh, beneficial bacteria in the tank. Um, kind of wanted to share that with you guys. It's really quick how you can set up um, a real quick quarantine tank or. Um, uh, or also a, a tank where you need to medicate fish or for whatever emergencies. It's always good. That's why I like 10 gallon tanks 
because in a pinch, they'll get you out of there. And uh, so I wanted to share that with you guys. I'll show you once the fish are in there, uh, so you see what, so here we can see what what kind of fish I got. So here are the fish that I was that I was able to get. Uh, there was a little bit of change of plants. I know I had told you I was going to do a 10 gallon tank. Uh, but in the process of setting that up and trying to figure out where I was going to put it, uh, I realized that in my rack that I had my 20 longs, I had this one tank in the middle that I, I wasn't doing anything with it. And uh, being that it was a little bit larger tank, I decided, you know what, this will probably be a better uh, quarantine tank. So now we can take a better look as to what, other, what was given to me. And uh, in here I can see I have some Ember Tetras. Uh, it looks like two, three angelfish. Uh, some uh, Green Fire Tetras. Looks like a pretty good size uh, Yo-Yo Loach in the back. Some uh, Panda Cories. Uh, it looks like a Uh, goody, uh, peacock goody, no, peacock dudgeon, sorry, peacock dudgeon. Uh, so, looks like some cherry barbs that are hiding back there behind the filter. Uh, what else? What else? Oh, uh, two female Congo tetras, some an auto sinkless. Behind that end, there's some Julii Cories. I think there's like four of them in there. Oh, and all those Anubiuses you see in here, those were also part of the, the entire package. Some Cardinal Tetras. Oh, here are the, here are the Cherry Barbs. And I think that's, that is it that I can see in there. But it's quite a few of these guys. Obviously, I'm going to be moving these guys after they're done with quarantine. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is, obviously, the angel fishes are going in that uh, angel fish tank. And the rest, I'm not sure yet. I haven't decided. Uh, I might just set up their own tank. Uh, and uh, and I'll see where, where it goes from there. But just kind of wanted to share with you. The stuff I was able to pick up yesterday. All right. Thank you. I'll see you guys in the next time.